Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. I'm going to start working with slope intercept form today in section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. So, what is slope intercept form? It's this y equals mx plus b. Maybe you've heard of it before. Uh, if we can get an equation solved for y and in this form where it's something times x plus or minus something, the thing that's being multiplied by x is called the slope. That's the constant rate of change. And that plus or minus value there, that constant off the end, is the y-intercept. It's the value of y when x is 0. More on that later as we start dealing with graphs. Today we're just looking at equations. So this says, what is the slope of this line? The slope is the number that's being multiplied by x. So it's just that negative 5 right there. It's that simple. All right, this says what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the number that's being added off the end there. It's plus 1. So the y-intercept is 1. If you plug 0 in for x, 37 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. That's why the y-intercept is 1. Okay, the slope of this line. Again, the number that's being multiplied by x. It's negative one eighth. No need to turn it into a decimal. That's it. Every time x goes up one, y goes down one eighth. That's the slope. Looking for the y intercept here. Well, this time the y intercept is actually negative. You got to take that negative sign or subtraction sign as part of the answer, so it's negative seven fourths. slope of this line, the number that's being multiplied by x. You can't see anything, but it's a 1. Okay, Some people, when they're first work, working with this, might call that 0, but it's actually 1x. So slope here is 1. Every time x goes up 1, y goes up 1. And one more y-intercept. You got it. It's just that 3 fifths hanging off the end of the equation. So when x is 0, the y value will be 3 fifths. That's how you identify slope and y intercept given slope intercept form of an equation. Good luck, you'll race through it, get a smart score of 100, quick like.